And now another question that were asked by university students is like, okay, I just finished my A levels. I want to do my higher studies. I want to do it. I want to go abroad and do my higher studies. But right now, Sri Lanka is facing a situation where you know our visas are also being rejected from mostly everywhere. Now again, students are the ones who are being affected here. What is your advice on this? What can they do for that? I think firstly, uh, the visas are getting rejected and it's like 80% more costly than it was before this year, right? With the depreciation, uh, there are students I know that will be forced to come back from their studies abroad because all of a sudden, it almost doubled their cost of going abroad for their parents or even them, just doubled. So there's a group that who plan to go abroad, who won't be able to go abroad, as well as there's a group that will be forced to come back. And uh, to address that, I think the private this actually gives the opportunity for the private education institutes and universities, and even public universities, to expand. And because there will be a group of kids who would have otherwise gone abroad who are here, and they'll be looking to do their degrees at a lower cost. So this they can capture this market and give them education and also you know retain those dollars which may might have gone abroad as well so it even though for the kids i hope that they do get to go on to where they want to go on but this might uh, help the country as well mm -hmm.